Hello everyone, this is the Cory Walker Hilltop RV Superstore. This is the 2006 Jayco 31BHDS travel trailer. Um, two slide outs, it's a soft side. Um, 30 pound LP tanks up front for your propane. You can also load two 12 volt batteries right there for longer camping. It's a diamond plate up front rock guard. And moving right along the side here, stabilizer jacks. There are four of those all the way around the coach. So your throughway storage here. This is where you can stow the bulk of your lawn chairs and things like that. Um, and it does go underneath the bed as well. Moving right along the back. It's your dump station. It has an outside shower. Uh, which is hot and cold with a shower head so you can basically wash all your equipment down uh, before or after you go to camp. Um, this will allow for uh, you know a little easier put away when you do get home. You don't have to monkey around with it too much. If you got time out to camp you can actually go ahead and knock that out. You can tell it's a hot and cold right there. Um, this one right here is actually brand new. We just put this one in. Uh, there's something wrong with the other one, so we put a brand new one in. But that was just part of our PDI, our prep checklist. Basically about a 150-point inspection that goes through the whole coach to make sure it's 110% when it rolls. New uh, spare tire cover on the back. Four-inch tubular bumper. This is where you can put your sewer hose um, when you're not using it. And again, your other stabilizer jacks there. Nice huge awning on it. And this is your six gallon direct spark ignition hot water heater. Um, it'll run on 110, which is your electric, and 12 volt, which is your gas side. It's a 12 volt igniter with a propane fired system. Refrigerator panel access. This will allow access to the outside portion of the refrigerator. And there's your exhaust for your furnace. 110 outlets if you want to have awning lights out on your awning uh, or just something you want to plug in. You got nice 110 access right there. And this is a lip mounted on the side. If you want to put an outside grill or table, you can. And this is your fresh water fill for your fresh water tank. I hold about 42 gallons of fresh water and 35 and 35 on your gray and black. Uh, moving right along inside, this is your full slide out. There's your sofa that does drop down into a bed. It's what we call a jackknife sofa. Simply drops down and then there's your bed. This is the quickest, easiest bed in the coach. Uh, the dinette is a jumbo booth. This does drop down into a bed as well. It's got, got the nice solid base pedestals. Um, this makes for a much more solid tra uh, table. Um, the back sides are vinyl. Uh, on the bottom it's all solid vinyl so if you do have kids um, you'll be able to flip those over and not have to contend with too much of a mess. Inside here is your Queen Island bedroom. There's overhead storage. There's a wardrobe to the left and a wardrobe to the right. Uh, overhead is simple storage and then of course underneath the bed as you saw in the front way storage there's a whole bunch of storage underneath there as well. There's two 80 pound struts that lift the bed up and hold it in place so you can get in and out with a little easier access. TV mount in the bedroom that just simply pops up and right there is your cable hookup with your 110. There is a pocket door in the bedroom. This will slide right across and shut the bedroom off. And what you're seeing right here in the ceiling is an actual duct. It's a 2x6 duct that's in the ceiling. It's paid throughout the whole roof. Uh, and there's another one and it goes all the way down. This is your air conditioner. It's got a high-low feature and a quick cool feature. Meaning you can actually flip these ducts open and it'll blast this area full of cold air. And then when you're done you can go ahead and channel them back and this will travel through the ducts. Now the advantage to the ducts is they're much quieter and they cool the coach much more efficiently and distributes the air much more efficiently throughout the whole trailer. Uh, your kitchen is right here. All solid oak cabinetry. This is an extreme advantage because over time these cupboards will not vary when you open and close them. They'll be a solid open and close. They won't be 
mismatched or misaligned or getting weak in the hinge points. Uh, they're all screwed and glued so they're nice rugged uh, just like you have at the house. Uh, high rise faucet right here with your 50-50 sink. Um, this makes it a little easier to get your pot and pans in, kind of wash them up. Here's your monitor panel here and what this is is your water heater electric option and your gas side electric option for your water heater. You simply turn those toggles and they will light up and you'll know that they're on plus your water pump. This system right now is designed, uh, it is winterized, but it's designed as an on-demand system. You heard the pump engage. It'll engage and shut off automatically. You turn on the water, it'll engage. This right here tells your battery level, and then your fresh water tank, your black water tank, and of course your gray. These will tell each individual level of the trailer, uh, trailer tanks. This is your slide-out switch, and these are your lights, central lighting and outside lighting. Uh, right there, I'm sorry, I didn't have the camera on it, right here. Uh, moving right along, you got your carousel microwave up top, right here. And then right here is your range top. Now this is ducted outside, so you can easily cook up bacon and eggs and stuff like that. It'll pump the air right outside and you don't have to smell up your whole coach. Down here is a 15 inch oven. It's got a little broiler in it too. And it's your six cubic foot refrigerator. Uh, this will hold six cubic foot of storage and you got a freezer up top uh, with compartments so you can easily put your hamburger and stuff like that. It is adjustable which is a great feature. Uh, one through five, most people start at three and kind of see where they're at. If you like your milk and stuff like that a little colder, simply flip it up a, um, one level. Now this is a fully automatic refrigerator. If you're running on 110 and the power goes out it'll automatically switch over to gas. If you're on gas side and you run out it'll automatically switch over to 110. It's a fail safe system so your food will never go bad. Uh, more storage right up through here. Lots of hidden storage. This is a double access into the bedroom. Um, you can utilize it for pantry or the kids could use it for storage. This is more pantry right here and more down here. And it's all oak framed. So again, it's going to maintain that nice structural integrity you come to expect. This right here is wardrobe storage. Nice deep and a drawer and more storage there. Now we're getting to the fun part. This is a bunkhouse model. And this is the most popular floor plan for the bunkhouses right now. And the reason why is because you have an upper bed and a lower bed and an actual bedroom. This right here will keep the peace when you're out to camp because the kids will actually have a room that they can go to and play and do whatnot. This right here is a table that will actually mount up like so. There's a support pole right here that mounts it and keeps it stable. Uh, they can actually sit there with a little chair and color or whatever. But the concept here again is just the kids actually will have their own bedroom and that's really really a cool feature when you're off the camp if it's raining this is a great great feature to have and right by the kids bedroom too is the bathroom which is really cool this right here is a privacy blind that will shut off the kids bedroom I'm going to kind of scoot this along and give you an idea what it looks like so bear with me I know we're not seeing it right now but as you can tell that's your privacy blind right there and that will give them their privacy but as you all know, it doesn't cut off the noise so well. <laughs> we'll close that up. So right here is the bathroom. And again, it's, it's in a very, very nice position in the coach. Um, it, it's right by the kids' bedroom. Um, and it's a nice big bathroom. It looks like you could actually take a shower in here, change clothes, and actually fully function like a true bathroom. The toilet itself has got a lot of room around it. There's plenty of room um, in a sink is at an angle which is really nice because if you shave or whatever guess what your elbows will have room to swing around and you can actually shave without rubbing your elbows against the wall this is your tower uh, shower they got a nice radius curtain coming out it's a half moon if you will it really does create a little more elbow room in the trailer and there's a skylight up above it's a frosted skylight and that's going to bring in some natural daylight as you can tell in here uh, so you can take a shower with natural light you can shave with natural light uh, and clean up with nice natural daylight
Nice traditional tub too. This is not your typical RV tub. It's a much bigger tub. Um, you might take notice to other trailer tubs. They kind of have a little seat that comes down that takes away from the actual tub. With little boys and girls, this is really a great feature. Um, if they need to get cleaned up, this is a nice deep tub that they're going to be able to kind of play around in. There's your overhead shower. Uh, that does come off and you can hand wash down uh, in a power vent right up into the ceiling and this takes up the whole ceiling fan itself it's a really huge powerful vent and even more so you could utilize this towards the rest of the coach if it does get hot you could open this up and it'll create a uh, suck all the hot air from the roof uh, and put it outside and keep your coach nice and fresh and clear this is the 31 foot bunkhouse Jayco travel trailer. It's a 2006 model. Hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. It was a real basic walkthrough. Uh, one other thing to note here this is an AM FM CD stereo. It's a five disc changer. Um, and you could utilize this with your TV up top. So just want to touch on that. This is where your entertainment center would go to your TV. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, our toll-free number is 1-800-676-7848. And my name is Corey Walker. Have a great day.